us has decided to play hardball, which is disgraceful because instead of, first of all, they claimed that Moishe Rosen had this idea to do the video that you died for you. And then when they're confronted, when they're given the chance to show the evidence, they don't do it. And I'm going to put the conversation in the description just so you can see how disgraceful Jesus for Jesus has become. And I'm going to read you part of the conversation. Okay, I don't have it up. Oh, wait a minute. I do have it up. Um, so they, um, they said um, the film was Boise's idea. You should watch it before he criticized. It was made to fight against anti-Semitism and to show who Jesus really is. He is a suffering servant. The animosity was already there before he ever made the film. Now many Jewish people talk about Jesus. Yeah, and they're talking about him in the most negative ways possible. They're talking about Christians in the most way possible. They're basically, they're basically, if they're not talking about Jesus in negative ways, they're doing exactly what Holocaust survivor Edith Meyer Kord did, which is basically blame Christianity. And she made very clear that it wasn't Jesus and his followers. It was those like Martin Luther who took Christianity in the direction that it went into to the point where the Nazis could use it to justify what they were doing. And even though the book of Isaiah, of course, says, these people worship me with their mouths, but their hearts are far from me, people who are not believers are not going to recognize that. So then again, they, um, they say, he's talking about, um, let's see, whoever this person is, when my own father first heard about Jesus, he was very angry, but the Holy Spirit softened his heart and now follows Jesus. Please have a more faith in this film and the power of the Holy Spirit. I do have the power. I do have the faith in the Holy Spirit, and that's why I'm angry that you made this film, because, again, you worship Jesus with your mouth. You're not following him in your heart. Feel free to talk to me or anyone else on our chat about any other questions or concerns that you have. So let me see if this person even gives their name. I don't think so. They just hide behind that Jew died for you. They won't name who they are. Yeah, so they won't, they won't even, what the heck? This is, okay, this is just disgusting. Um, let's see. So they, other people have had other issues with them. Thanks for your honesty. Felt like you misinterpreted our film and our intention. Would love to get that cleared up with you. Feel free to ask us anything about the film or what we think about Jesus here. And apparently it says, um, so the, so the new ad that they did was, quote unquote, Jesus gassed by Nazis in stomach churning ad. And so, okay, um, see, I don't know who this is. Um, that person won't give a name. They just give a picture. Let's see. Um, again, the person won't give a name. But then, um, let's see. Apparently. Let's see, I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to accuse, um, okay, um, yeah, because I'm not, I'm not sure that's a person, um, oh no, apparently, okay, the person is, um, her name's Carol Mall, so instead of, um, instead of, instead of giving her name, I had to go to her, pro I had to go to her profile to find it, and, you know, she wouldn't say who she was, and, she, um, she was trying to, okay, maybe that wasn't her, um, huh, so, okay, she won't give her own name, but she's willing to, um, she's willing to share others' comments, and, um, she won't put her name behind her own comments, interestingly enough, or he won't, whoever the person is, so hiding behind names, hiding behind titles, hiding behind others' comments, and let me let me read you part of the conversation too. So I said to them, then why was so I said to them in terms of the video, then why wasn't it made when he Moishe Rosen was alive? You're succeeding only in selling Moishe's memory, making the gospel look foolish, and bringing down Jews for Jesus. What a shame! And someone pointed out to me, well, you didn't know Moishe personally. Yeah, I didn't know him personally, but um, why would Stuart Darman lie? And I even read somewhere that he was libertarian. And I assure you, libertarians would not try to proselytize, a.k.a. shove, their faith on others. And 
someone said, well, there wasn't a good way to get a film like this seen in a large scale while Moshe was alive, and doing a film like this would have costed far more with far less quality. Well, first of all, if you're going to make a point, make sure that your spelling and your grammar are acceptable. Not only that, but don't lie, because you could have, if you budgeted wisely, and if you really wanted to put your mind to it, you could have made the film while he was alive. And, oh, it's funny too, but it says, um, they're talking about Mark Chagall's work. They say, by the way, Mark Chagall is a messianic. Well, duh, I know that. Okay, um, and, you know, you could have asked the family too, out of a courtesy, before you use his work in the film, since he had the power to do that, but you didn't have courtesy either. And, okay, I, I also asked them, to give the proof about what Moishe said, and they said, um, we have the original storyboards, would you like his daughter to give you a call? So I asked them, why don't you do the right thing and release them for everyone else to see? They said, besides you, no one else has had an issue with the film being Moishe's idea. Well, that was never brought up before, now was it? And if they did have an issue with it, if they saw the film, they were disgusted by it. But if showing you his storyboard will help you understand, and I would be glad to share it, I will send it tomorrow. Well, again, why don't you release it out to the public? Why don't you do the right thing? And by the way, while we're at it, let me let me make this link. It's kind of like, and we just heard on the news today, it's kind of like when the White House refused to release the emails regarding Benghazi, and they wanted to blame it on a video. That's exactly what Jesus or Jesus is doing here. They got the backlash. And then they're acting like it's everyone else's fault, or something else's fault, and they're not looking at themselves, and they're doing exactly in this situation what the White House did with the Benghazi situation. And they also, by the way, just like just like the White House had used the uh, Benghazi families and other people affected, so Jews for Jesus decided to go ahead and pull the family card, and... This is what the person pulls. Now, you need to know that I am a great-grandchild of a murdered great-grandmother and several other family members in Auschwitz. Though my parents are messianic, much of the rest of, the fam of my family, a mix of reformed, conservative, and orthodox Jews, much of, most of which have seen the film and are now considering Jesus. Though you have your doubts, the truth is the film works well for those who are willing to listen. Well, if you want to pull the family card, okay, I can pull the family card, too. I lost relatives in the Holocaust. There were my great-great-grandparents who converted on one side, and my family was not willing to talk to them or even ask for help during the Holocaust, because once they converted during the programs, they were done with us, and what came back in the 1960s was a letter asking for the deed to the family farm to be changed, and they were probably getting ready to make Alia, because we haven't heard about them since. And... As for the as for the other side in terms of who lost relatives in the Holocaust, we decided, hey, you know what? When they're writing us for help, even though we claim Jesus, we're gonna stop helping them. So in terms of in terms of what Jews for Jesus did using Jesus in their way, so we use Jesus in a bad way too on our side, and at least unlike Jews for Jesus, we're taking responsibility for what we did. So, that's another point, too. If you want to pull the family card, and if you want to pull who did what in the name of Jesus, or who's affected by what, well, there you go. And not only that, but I mean, it says, um, my concern is to see Jewish people consider Jesus. Well, my concern is about people, not only who will consider Jesus, but about those who don't, because of those who pull stunts in Jesus' name that shouldn't be pulled. And... If you want to care about people who would consider Jesus, talk to my family member who, because we pulled a stunt in the name of Jesus, probably will not consider Jesus for a long, long time. And just like that family member won't consider Jesus, so plenty of other family members on that person's sides of the family in terms of all of Israel won't consider Jesus. Think about that. And like I said, I'm going to put the whole conversation in the transcript because whoever whoever pulled this stunt is just a shameful shameful person and they're 
basically saying, well, okay, basically, you know what, we could pull, forget my language, we can pull crap in the name of Jesus, and then when we get called out on it, we can blame everyone and everything and whatever else, and we can act like the White House acted with Benghazi, or we can act like, and I said this before, I named the names of my own family, so when I'm using the name here, if you don't get the reference, well, now you're getting it. Or, um, like I said, we can act like the West Knock and Gate sides act and acted toward the West Knock sides in Kosice, Slovakia. So, same thing. And at least on our end, we're willing to take responsibility. On their end, however, for what they did, they're not. And they're doing exactly what my family on the Rusnock and Gita side did for years. With their stun, they're trying to cover things up and blame everyone else. With our stun, we're trying to take responsibility. And while, while I'm at it, while I'm trying to link the two subjects, I guess that's the thing that I want to get across to my family, too. I don't want to see us pull the stunt with what happened in our family that Jesus for Jesus is pulling with his video and repeat the mistakes of the past. So I guess I wanted to make that link too. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to post the whole conversation in the video because what Jesus for Jesus is doing, they think it's shameless. It's not. It's, it's shameful. And again, I urge everyone to sign the petition asking David Brickner to step down because he's selling Moshe's memory. He's selling Jews for Jesus. He doesn't give a crap about anyone else but himself. And, well, that's that.